Hi, welcome back. This is a 10 minute summary of how the LU decomposition works for a matrix. This is a very important idea and I have shown and I am going to show it through an example. So, the starting point for this yeah, is a triangular matrix. So, what is a triangular matrix? Triangular matrix is any matrix. Oh my goodness. A triangular matrix is a matrix that looks like this uh, A11, A12, A13, A14, 0, A22, A23, A3, um, A24, 0, 0, A2, let us see, A33, A34, 0, 0, 0, A44. Notice all terms below diagonal are 0. This is called upper triangular. So, lower triangular would be something that looks like 6, 0, 0, 7, 1, 0, 0, 1, 8. Notice terms above diagonal or 0. This is called lower triangular. This is usually referred to as a matrix U. This is referred to as L, U for upper, L for lower and uh, these matrices are very nice user friendly matrices. That means you can do calculations with them very easily. So, these are very important matrices and this is what we are going to use. Okay. So, our task is the following. We want to solve a set of simultaneous equations and they look like A11, A12, A13, A14, A21, A22, A23, A24, A31, A32, A33, A34, a41, A42, A43, A44. And then x1, x2, x3, x4 equals B1, B2, B3, B4. So, this is a, a set of four simultaneous equations and you want to solve it. This is a real pain in the you know what. If the number of equations get very large, for example, if you get a thousand by thousand or something like that, by the way, just to get you an idea, Google routinely looks at billion by billion equations. If you want to do this, you know, there is no simple way, this is really, really difficult. Okay. So, what we try to do is, we want to simplify it, so that you can solve. So, how are we going to simplify it? Suppose our matrix looks like this A11, A12, A13, 0, A22, A23, 0, 0, A33. Let us say three equations, three unknowns x1, x2, x3 equals B1, B2, B3. So, this is a triangular matrix. Suppose you had an equation like this, then this is easy to solve because you can solve solution is very simple. You do x3 equals b3 over a33, x2 equals uh, b2 minus a23 x3 divided by a22, 
x1 equals b1 minus a12 x2 minus a13 x3 divided by a11 okay right? this is a very easy thing that's it that's all you have to do no complicated stuff nothing so if you want to solve triangular matrices triangular matrix equations they are easy that is why we say that triangular matrices are this is an example of user friendliness of triangular matrices in fact in general you can get xi equals bi minus summation j equal to i plus 1 to n aij xj divided by aii you can try that out you can see x1 if i substitute i equal to 1 so this is the generalization that's all you have to do just a simple multiplication you are done so our idea is convert any matrix any matrix equation or set of simultaneous equations into one involving triangular matrices this is the trick okay this is by doing simple uh, row column manipulation so let's try an example and we'll see if we can do this okay so this is this particular process is called lu decomposition because we are going to break it into a lower and upper triangular matrix so let's say i have a matrix a and i want to solve a times uh, x1 x2 x3 x4 equals uh, 7 1 3 5 suppose i want to solve this first thing i do is i start with a nice identity matrix which i'm going to keep in the corner this is called l and i'm going to fill out all these terms slowly what i'm going to do is the following i'm going to take and eliminate this chunk of numbers so i want to slowly convert it into a lower upper triangular matrix by getting rid of this how do i get rid of this what i do is the following so i'm going to i'm going to put some notation so that it is possible for us to do something about it so i am going to call this row 1 this is row 2 this is row 3 and this is row 4 so what i am going to do is i am going to leave row 1 alone r1 is just equal to r1 i don't make any change in it what i do is i do r2 equals r2 minus 0.9293 divided by 0.2465 so 3 5 times r1 that means i take this entire row multiply it by the scale factor and subtract from this row notice it's not just one number but what it will do is the first one will become zero i'm going to do the same thing for r3 r3 is r3 minus 0.3500 divided by 0.2435 times r1 r4 will be or 4 minus 0.1966 divided by 0.2435 times r1 this is what i'm going to do i am going to keep these three numbers these are the scaling factors out here into this position okay the scaling factors go there the scaling factor is the yellow column this column divided by that number and subtract so when you do that you can see 0.9293 so if i if i do for the first one this will get zero this will get some number we will see what numbers we will get so i start out with this this is my scale factor this is my uh, elimination row change this is my formula so notice this is ri equal to ri minus a first row times the scale factor that's what this is if you do that what will happen first we'll store the scale factors these are the scale factors 